The nature of the bunkers on the golf course means that they're not always greenside bunkers like we often think of. Sometimes they're also fairway bunkers. Now those fairway bunkers might be bunkers that you hit off the tee that leave you with 200 yards to go to the flag, or they might be those fairway bunkers that are 50, 60 yards short of the green. So not traditionally greenside bunkers, but they're still not uh, sort of a million miles away from the green. Now, the key to these fairway bunkers is it isn't always necessary that we immediately grab our sand wedge. Generally, when we're greenside bunker, we're splashing out here, yes, we're gonna take a sand wedge. But in a fairway bunker, we might often consider that actually distance is more of a priority and getting the ball out should be a little bit easier to do. And it all depends on the lie and the lip of the bunker. Clearly, if I was playing this way, this leading edge, this lip is about three and a half, four feet above the position of the golf ball and it's sort of a snarling lip as it looks back at me and the worst case scenario here would be hitting a ball against that lip and it just dribbles back down into its own divot and I get the same shot again. However if I had a bunker that was let's say playing out this way the leading edge of this bunker is probably 15 yards ahead of me and it's not very high so I don't have to get up and over it. Likewise if I was playing this way back towards the camera there's no leading edge on this so I can play any shot I like out. One big careful point we've got to have here is the club selection needs to be appropriate, not just for the distance of the shot, but also for the height of that lip. Like we stressed, the worst case scenario is hitting into the lip. So if I looked at a shot that was maybe clearing this corner here, I might think, well, I'm 200 yards away, so I want to hit my four iron to get out that distance. But if I hit a four iron from here, am I going to clear that lip? And if I catch that lip and it comes back to me, that's worst case scenario. So I'm actually better off looking at that lip, deciding which club to use, and then adding one more for safety. So I might look at that shot and think, well, I reckon I can clear that lip with a five iron. So if I put a five iron down here, I think I can see that clearing the lip. So I'm going to take my six. My six then gives me that little bit more security that I can clear the lip. Again, what we don't want to be seen to be doing here is panic at the last minute that we're not gonna clear the lip and then leaning back, trying to scoop underneath it. Leaning back, we hit the sand too much. We hit the sand from a fairway bunker. The ball doesn't come out very far at all. The real focus of what we want to have in a fairway bunker is we want to catch the ball relatively cleanly. We don't really want to be seen to be taking too much sand at all. This should be played cleanly off the top, almost like it's from a, a grassy lie rather than a sandy lie. To help you hit the ball a bit cleaner, we're gonna grip down slightly. So just take half an inch or an inch of the length off the club by gripping down. Also in a traditional sand bunker, we might wiggle our feet really far down and that lowers us down to help us get under the ball. But of course, like we've just said here, we don't want to go under the ball, we want to take it clean. So we don't wiggle, we just stand on top of the sand and that should help us play it quite cleanly from the top. Now we know that in a bunker we're not allowed to take a practice swing, we're certainly not allowed to take a practice swing that hits the sand. That would be deemed as testing the surface and that would give you a penalty. So try and take a practice swing to the side of the bunker on the grass, thinking about the same techniques, thinking about gripping down, thinking about a solid stance, thinking about playing the ball cleanly rather than leaning down and taking a big divot. And then when you get into the bunker, no wiggling, grip down, Give it a nice firm squeeze in case you do hit it heavy. You want that club to keep moving. So make sure there's a good tight grip pressure, big follow through and try and play that ball cleanly off the surface with one less club. So one more lofted club than you think you need to clear the lip. Using those techniques will improve your bunker shots.